What's up, people? It's your belief, and today we are comparing the AS Val with the FFAR. So this is pre-nerf. I'm assuming they're gonna nerf it this coming Thursday. Uh, what is it today? Today is a Sunday, March 21st. So we'll see if they end up nerfing the FFAR. But as of right now, the FFAR and the AUG are definitely meta. Just want to show you guys and compare the difference between the FFAR and the AS Val because I feel like not a lot of people are using the AS Val. For sure, it has its issues. But I think it's a very competitive gun against the FFAR as a supporting, I guess, submachine gun style AR. So I will be comparing the standard build that people use for FFAR and then my AS Val build that I really like. And then I'm also going to give you guys another FFAR build that's really nice that not, I don't see a lot of people use. Also, I have a nice little AS Val video for you guys. I'll link it up here somewhere in the video for you guys to see if you guys want to check it out after this video let's go ahead and start with the standard ffar build all right so like i said this ffar is going to be your secondary your primary will be a sniper rifle or the aug so i'm running agency suppressor ranger heavy uh this is for the effective damage range and bullet velocity uh, usually people run ranger i definitely don't recommend running it unless you're using this as a main ar I love the FFAR as a main AR, and I run with the Ranger for that, specifically for the bullet velocity. And then we're running the Field Agent Grip for the best horizontal and vertical recoil control. Horizontal is very important because that's the side-to-side -side wiggle. And the 50-round Fast Mag, it has no cons to it. Um, and then for the Raider stock, or for the stock running Raider stock, I personally like it a lot for the sprint to fire and the ADS firing movement speed. That right there is very key because you get so much movement when you start shooting and bobbing side to side while aiming down sight. It's super hard for the enemy to hit you. My favorite stock out of all the Cold War stocks right here, for sure. So that's the standard build that I see a lot of people running. And I'll be comparing the AS Valve to this specific build exactly. But then there is also another really nice SMG FFAR build that no one's really running. J God did talk about this build. Um, so you switch the agency suppressor for just the regular suppressor. This does affect your damage range and bullet velocity, but it does help you with your mobility and a little bit more control. And then you switch out the reinforced heavy, this barrel right here. You can either go for optic or a laser. Um, I personally really like the sides, so I would go for like a 5MW for that aggressive uh, play style. Since you're running up nice and close, you might be barrel stuffing, so it's nice to have that hip fire before you ADS. So this build right here is a really nice FFAR submachine gun support rifle build for your AUG or your CAR-98. That I do not see a lot of people running, and you guys should definitely try running this build just to see how you guys like it. I personally like it a lot. But like I said before, I will be comparing I'll be comparing this specific build against the AS Val because I believe more people use this specific build. All right, for the AS Val, I'm running a 5MW for the sprint to fire speed. That is very important, and the hip fire accuracy helps a whole bunch. Um, a Merc 4 grip just for the hip fire accuracy and the recoil control. You can run Commando, but I feel like the AS Val does not have that much recoil. But it's up to personal preference. I like the Merc 4 grip. Since I am using this as a submachine gun, I want that hip fire just in case I ran into people in close quarters. And then I'm running the 30 rounds because it's super important. If you're not running the 30 rounds, you're going to have what, 25 rounds or something. And this gun spits so much ammo so fast it's very important to have that and they're running the stippy grippy um, this is mainly for the sprint to fire uh, ads is also very important but you want the sprint to fire to counter that ffar and then slide of hand is the last perk this is super important because you need to reload this gun is a lot harder to run in quads i'm not gonna lie um, but if you know how to position yourself you could definitely get some decent squad wipes but let's go ahead and see the TTK charts between these two guns right here. All right, so here is the TTK chart for a full plated enemy. Um, so the orange is the AS Val. So we here we can see it has a faster TTK. This purple line right here is the meta build for the meta FFAR. And then the blue one here is the one I suggested that people should use a little bit more often as a support 
assault rifle, just the regular agency suppressor, no barrel, and the 5MW or a optic. So when comparing directly with the ASVAL and the meta FFAR build, here we can see that the ASVAL actually has a faster time to kill up to about what 23 25 meters or something here i definitely feel that if you're using the ffar and the asval and you meet each other within that range you're definitely going to beat the ffar with the asval which is why i really like the asval everyone's running the ffar right now the only issue is if you encounter someone a little bit further than that it's going to be hard to engage but usually when you're meeting someone in this range right here it's always better to have either your car 98 or your aug or m16 engage enemies at that range so usually you don't meet anyone in this range of course there are those awkward fights where you do happen to meet someone in this range but i think the as val is a lot better than the ffer up close the biggest issue with as val for sure is the ammo capacity since you only got 30 rounds and the reload is kind of slow it's definitely hard to fight multiple people at the same time but if you have really good game movement you can actually work around that issue which is really awesome um, then you could really fully use the as val to its full potential but of course if you're using the ffvr you will have a little bit more leeway with the extra what 20 rounds uh, and a little bit more range so if you do have to beam someone from relatively far away you could definitely beat them so that's just my opinions about these two guns i personally really like the as val and i find it a whole lot of fun to play with um i kind of don't like using the ffar as a secondary ar i personally really love running the, the ffar as a main assault rifle and then run it with a mac 10 or some diamatis or something uh, i'll post a video coming up soon of me using the ffvr as my main primary weapon so if you guys want to see that gameplay go ahead and hit that subscribe button um, and hit that notification button that little bell so you guys know when i upload that one uh but this is just my thoughts about the asval and the ffvr and also give you guys an additional extra little build for the ffvr that gives you a little bit better movement than the current meta ffar build so i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys learned something do me a favor smash that like button if you guys want to see that ffar gameplay go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification button just so you know when i upload the video go ahead and comment down below what do you guys think is going to be the best ar after the aug m16 and the ffar gets nerfed because I, I feel like it's coming i think the ffar is okay but i kind of miss SMGs, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.